Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Feeling like a uh, Bowman Chrome Baseball new release day. This is our second case of the day. 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number sweet 16. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Appreciate it. We did straight up too, no fillers. TJ with that double last spot mojo. 70% of the time, double last spot mojo. Or a last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. All right, so he's got some good teams in here. Thanks to him, thanks to everybody. Um, Nick was going to help us pack stack this break to make it go a little bit quicker, but something else filled up before that. So I'm going to do this solo, which is all good. It'll take a little bit longer, but the hits will be the same. Nick actually picked this case. So let's, let's, see, let's see what kind of case Nick picked for us. Will it be a stud case or a dud case? We're going to find out by the end. So hang with us. There's, you can see on the top camera right there, four boxes there. There's eight, and there's 12. That camera is actually a little bright. So it was adjusted for the pack stacking. So let me actually reset that. There you go, that's a little bit better. All right, so thanks everybody once again for getting in, for making this happen. Let's... Uh, Start popping open these boxes. Let's see what we got. So we got two chrome autographs per box, per master box, one per mini box. Looking for we're pro, this is all prospect. We're all we're prospect hunting. So a lot of uh, a lot of uh, future value in this is what we're looking for. Future value. Some current value right now, obviously, but most Bowman Bowman collectors are, are really just kind of getting these prospects and hanging on to them for as long as you can, and hopefully, you know, some of these guys end up being superstars. I mean, obviously, the odds are not everyone's going to be a superstar, but hopefully, we'll find some future stars here. Hopefully, they become superstars. That's the whole idea. A lot of baseball happening here on a Tuesday night, but the important game that I'm looking for, looking at, is that Arizona at San Francisco, and they're in the oh Diamondbacks with the bases loaded in the top of the fourth, with one out. Need the if the Diamondbacks win and the, and the Dodgers win, Dodgers can can try to see if they can make up a couple games to win the NL West. And there's not a lot. There's only like what six six games left. Five six games left. All right. Here's box one. Clark Schmidt, purple chrome. Uh, one thirty-two out of two fifty for the Yankees. These are these are all uh, those will all be top loaded by our shipping team before they get sorted and shipped out. First autograph of the break: Jagger Haynes, two forty nine out of four ninety nine. I'll do an autograph recap at the end as well, and if we find some low numbered cards too. For the Padres, that goes to uh, Mark Mark D with that. Shailen Polanco, nice. The 250 purple chrome for Travis. I think one of the one of the bigger names uh, this year in this set. Uh, Helchris Oliveris Shimmer Bowman first Shimmer. Nice. Adam with the rocks. That's Ray in the chat. And there he is, Shailen Polanco, Bowman first. Base autograph for Travis Melberg and the Pirates. Arr. Number eight international prospect, third best outfield prospect according to MLB.com. Congrats, Travis. Thanks for getting in. We got Bobby Witt Jr., 140 to 150. Summer camp. Insert atomic parallel. All right, 
Great start. First box. Good luck. TJ's got a question for us. DeGrom officially shut down today. Is he eligible for the Cy Young Award? I think so. Because I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any, like... Innings uh, requirement or anything like that. I guess a player could technically play one game, and if the baseball writers all decided that they wanted that person to be these... Cy Young Award winner. We'll do it. And he might get some votes, too. I don't know how many first place votes he'll end up getting, but I think he'll probably get some votes. Trey Turner is fast. Nice infield single for Trey Turner. All right. Next box. Good luck. And there's Jordan Groshans, Magenta Shimmer to 199. Blue Jays, Josh with Jordan. And there's Christian Santana, Coppola with the Tigers. Nice auto there. Number seven shortstop. Top 10 shortstop in, in that international draft class. There's Logan Gilbert to 125. For the Mariners. Mariners trying to get in to get a playoff spot. They're scoreless in Seattle, bottom of the third. Hosting the A's. Trying to get into that, that wild card spot. And Victor Acosta for Mark and the Padres. And the Diamondback grounded into an inning-ending double play with bases loaded. Come on, guys. There's Austin Hendrick, refractor to 499 for Cincinnati. That'll be for Allen. Next box. And the Yankees beat the Blue Jays seven to two. I think the Red Sox ended up falling to the Orioles of all teams four to two. So a lot of a uh, lot of wild card implications in the AL. In the NL, the wild card is pretty much set. Cardinals are in that Cardinals won their 17th game today. Um, Cardinals are in the second wild card spot and there I think they're like four or five games ahead of everybody else. I think I think they actually must have clinched today because they were wearing t-shirts at the end and they were milling around the field. So, so I think they're pretty much set. They've clinched a wild card, that wild card spot, and Dodgers are comfortably in the in the top wild card spot. But they're trying to see if they can avoid that one game, which who knows what could happen. Can you imagine Dodgers are going to win over a hundred games just to be in a one game playoff, and then God forbid lose that. Oh, I don't want to think about it. All right, next. Got Bobby Dalbeck, four out of 75. That is for Burke and the Red Sox. Number 
And there's Jose Bonilla. Burt with the Angels. Hollow one's no good. Yeah. There you go. It ascended 14 spots, number 15 on Baseball America's list of Angels prospects. Hot. Hot prospect. There's uh, Mike Yastrzemski, 281 out of 299. He has his grandson going to Mark. David Garcia, Atomic Autograph, 25 out of 100. Nice parallel for Mark R. and the Rangers. Number 18. Garrett Mitchell, Speckle to 290. You know what? I actually thought that too, Rex. Is that Bobby Bonilla's son? But it didn't say anything on the back of the card, so I feel like they would have said something if he was. What a throw by Machado. Garrett Mitchell Speckle will go to the Brew Crew. That's for Travis. And then next box. Next box. Uh, Padres Dodgers on in the background. Dodgers still up one nothing. Bottom of the third. Trey Turner on second. Justin Turner up to about two outs. See if Justin can add some runs here. What's happening with the Giants? Giants have a runner on second. One out. It's, that game's tied 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's actually had a leadoff double. Tyler Gentry. Leo with the Royals. Number 22 prospect in that Royals organization. They should make Bobby Bonilla Day a holiday. National holiday. Only only if he uh, shares all that money with us. Hunter Green to 250. Purple shimmer for Allen and the Reds. And we got Igai Rosario. 133 out of 150 blue chrome autograph for Mark and the Padres. Number 33, San Diego prospect. Luis Patino to 299. Magenta for the Rays, Burke, Tampa Bay. And another Padre, Reginald uh, Preciado, 457 out of 499. Number 21, Padres prospect. There's Chris Bryant, 499, refractor card. Still, uh, still Cubs edition here for Burke in Chicago. And another box. Justin Turner still up to bat. Three and two the count now. It's 
Let's go, Justin. Locked him. Nice. All right. All right. AJ Pollock. Let's go. Next box. Ooh, some gold shimmer, Armando Cruz. Two out of 50. Taylor with the Nationals. And there's Yidi Cap, Ryan with the Marlins. Nice, that's a strong card right there. Grew up a Marlins fan, too. Number three prospect in his class, Carlos Correa comps. Who ends up with a NL Rookie of the Year? Not Patrick Wisdom. So I know you're going to make a case for him. We actually looked up those NL Rookie of the Year odds yesterday. Um, and the favorite in the NL, according to Vegas is Jonathan India. He's a heavy favorite at minus 1150. Trevor Rogers is plus 725. That's a little over 7 to 1. Patrick Wisdom's 15 to 1. But Jonathan India is minus 1150. Oh, and that's a Juan Soto purple chrome for Taylor. So it looks like Jonathan India is going to is going to win the NL rookie of the year. AL Rookie of the Year. The favorite is Randy Arozarena, minus 175, but Mountcastle's right behind him at plus 385. Almost 4-1, to one. so that, that race is a little bit closer. Nice, A.J. Pollock. Double? Nice. Oh, two-out single, I'll take it. Garrett Mitchell, green to 99. Schwindel is not really up there. He's behind. Um, he's behind Wisdom at at plus four thousand. It's forty to one. There's Taylor Dollard. At least more to Vegas. But I think Jonathan India is like the is the heavy favorite. Seattle, I Coppola with a Taylor Dollar. And there is the one per case Bowman Ascensions insert. Bobby Witt Jr., Leo Kaur with Kansas City. All right, next box. Walker Bueller, two outs, bases loaded. Can he, can he help himself? Can he help himself out? All right, what about MVP? AL MVP, yeah, Vlad, Vlad is plus 725, but Otani is is a huge favorite at minus three thousand. I don't think anyone else is even close. Juniors, Vlad Jr. is close, but Marcus Simeon's like one hundred and fifty to one. Aaron Judge two hundred to one. Those are really long odds. Um, in the NL, 
Bryce Harper slowly kind of creeping up and running, kind of running away, at least with the odds. Winning the odds race for NL MVP. He's minus 293. And Tatis Jr. is plus 325. And Bueller strikes out, but at least we got a couple runs there. Juan Soto plus 460. Trey Turner is plus 5,000, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Jonathan India has definitely been been on the the prospect radar for for a little while now. But yeah, Trevor Story stories are always are always cool, right? He really did kind of came out of nowhere. There's Malvin Valdez, Bowen first shimmer. That's for speaking of Cincinnati. That's for Alan Murdoch. We got George Felice. 231 out of 250 for Coppola and the Mariners. Nice. Groomed the same IPL program that produced Seattle prospect, top Seattle prospect Julio Rodriguez. Nice. Christian Javier, refractor to 499. That'll be for Taylor and the Astros. There's Heston Kirchstad to 199 for the Orioles. That's going to go to Leo and the O's. And Armando Cruz, Taylor and the Nats. All right, so comparisons to a young Jose Iglesias. It's pretty solid. Garrett Mitchell refractor to 4.99, and we are officially halfway through this full case break. All right, another six boxes to go. Twelve more autographs to go. True, Rex. Yeah. Yeah, the Trevor story wasn't just a fluke. He, he, he was the real deal Holyfield. Yeah, there are a lot of rookies of the year have, who have just been, been kind of one and done. I think uh, here are the past... 10 AL Rookie of the Year award winners. Most recently, Kyle Lewis. I mean, he had, I think he had an okay season this year. We'll have to see how it how he looks. Jordan Alvarez won in 2019. I think he's still hitting well, but TBD on those guys. Otani uh, was the Rookie of the Year in 2018. And he dipped considerably in 19 and 20, but then is now back on track in a big way in 2021. Aaron Judge won in 2017. He's pretty good. Michael Fulmer won in 2016. We really haven't heard too much from him after that. 2015, Carlos Correa won AL Rookie of the Year. He's still going strong. Jose Abreu in 2014. He's still going strong. Will Myers won the AL Rookie of the Year in 2013. I think he's, he's been okay, but I don't think he's been really dominant after that. 2012, Mike Trout. Obviously is good. I guess more than I thought. Jeremy Hellickson in 2011. Really, really haven't, really haven't seen him. Yeah, he, he does, Oliver. He realizing he's not going to win that MVP. Kind of flailed at that pitch. Ed Howard to 199. Magenta, Shimmer. Devin Williams won Rookie of the Year last year in the NL. Pete Alonso, 2019. Cody Bellinger before that. Cody Seager. Ronald Cunha, Cody Bellinger, Corey Seager. Uh, 
And there's Gilberto Celestino for the Twins. Ryan with the Twinkies. Chris Bryant before that. Jacob DeGrom, Jose Fernandez, RIP, Bryce Harper, Craig Kim. I guess the NL rookies of the year in the last 10 years have been pretty great. Speaking of Chris Bryant, there he is. Gold, 30 out of 50. That is for Burke and Chicago. North side. What a pitch by Walker Bueller. All right, and the relic is Brian Anderson. Arizona Fall League flashbacks. That's for uh, Miami. That's going to go to Ryan. There's Jazz Chisholm and David Garcia. Rangers, Mark. And I think these non-numbered refractors are uh, variations. So that Jazz Chisholm also for Ryan. I guess though, Oliver, I guess I would feel de defeated too if, if you saw Walker Bueller on the mound dealing the way he has been dealing today. He had a couple not so Walker Bueller y starts the last two games, but so far, four innings in, he looks he looks locked in. Machado grounds out. Only 50 pitches through four. It's pretty good. I think just a one hitter too. Oh, let's check on the other game. All right, so still 1-1. Arizona is in San Francisco. We need the Diamondbacks to win here. It'd be nice, and a Dodgers win, of course. Diamondbacks did get a leadoff walk. Let's go, Snakes. All right. Next box. Let's go. Good luck. There's Starlin Aguilar, Mariners, Coppola. Jordan Alvarez to 499. Refractor for the Strohs, Taylor. Victor Acosta. 145 out of 250 purple chrome. For the Padres, Mark. And we got an Angel Rondon. 17 out of 250 purple chrome autograph for Taylor and the Cardinals. Number 14 Cardinals prospect. There's Miguel Belize to 150 blue chrome. For Burke and Boston. All right, next box.
good luck. Gave me a little trouble there. Next box, let's go. There's Sean Roby. Marked with the Giants, my rivals. So yeah, persistently delivers competitive at bats. Shows emergent power. That's good. Stays even keel, warding off long slumps. Can handle either corner infield spot. Corner infielders are pretty solid. There's Matt Manning to 499. Yeah, Roby's numbers are do look pretty different. Rex has some trivia for us. Since Rookie of the Year awards began, how many pitchers have won it? When when did it begin? There's uh, Micelle Urbina to two ninety nine speckle for the Twins Ryan. And Tyler Keenan, 242 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Grizzlebees. Forty man futures, Nick Gonzalez, Atomic. To one fifty. And that is for Pittsburgh. That's gonna go to Travis. 1947 was the first year. All right, three boxes left. Um, six autos to go. Fingers crossed. 1947, the first year. So I would say... First rookie of the year, I think, was Jackie Robinson. At least for the NL. Um, I say there were 30 pitchers to win rookie of the I guess both leagues? I say 50. Be more than 50. Half, maybe? Uh, that's probably more pitchers than we think. There's Igai Rosario, Padres, Mark. Jose Abreu, purple chrome to 250.
It's 40? What did I say? <laughs> I think I got close. I think I said 50, and then I said there's got to be more than that. <laughs> there's my cell Urbina to a 499. I guess Anthony was closest without going over. If you want to go Price is Right rules. There's Franiel Baez, 72 out of 299. Eric. For the Diamondbacks, he's got to go to Jaspi's autograph camp, work on some things here. Nick York, 9 out of 99, green. For Boston, that's going to go to Lou Burke in Boston. Two boxes to go. Diamondbacks not putting runs on the board. That game's still 1-1. Come on, Snakes. Yeah, I think that's what Rex said. First first win was was Jackie Robinson. Alright, there's Julio Rodriguez, Green Shimmer, 22 out of 99. One of the one of the big names for the uh, for the Mariners, up and coming names for the Mariners. Oh, well, we got a redemption behind Freddie Freeman. Let's check on that in a second. Jesus Sanchez refractor to 499 for the fish. And a Leover Paguero for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to Travis. There's Hassan Kim to 150, blue chrome. That'll be for the Friars, Mark. And the redemption behind Freddie Freeman. It's going to be Bowman Chrome Prospect Autograph. M. I don't think I've seen an M city. Milwaukee, Minnesota? Oh, we have. Yeah, Mycel Urbina. I think it's one of the bigger prospect names for the Twins. Ryan with the Twinkies. Get the Redemption. You get the free top loader. Ooh, nice, Chad. You and Jimmy just busted open that case of Bowman Chrome. Chad was a winner of a Bowman Chrome case, which is pretty awesome. Him and his, him and his buddy, you've seen, you've seen Jimmy in, in, the, in our breaks too, Jimmy Connell, and his brother Danny. So, anything cool? Super Fractor? Train whistles? Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All right, final two mini boxes. Last two autographs, good luck. Thanks everyone for getting into 12 box figure team 16. We've got another case loaded up in the store and that's down to 18, that's almost halfway there. Do we have time to do another one tonight? Yeah, we do. If nothing else fills up, we could do another Bowman Chrome baseball break if you want. We've got time for it.
No train whistles though. Two orange autos. You got three autos in a box. We saw a box in the previous break that had four autos. It was a live auto, two redemptions behind it, and then later on there was the four it was a fourth auto. And Jimmy left two boxes sealed, so I bet there's a train whistle in there. Hey, anyway, how did you divide up the boxes? Did you like number them and do like random.org or something like that? Alright. Last two uh, autographs here in this stack. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. We got CJ Abrams, purple shimmer to 250. And we got more Padres, Jordy Bailey, Barley, that is. Mark Dominguez and the Friars. Rated number 17 prospect in the 2017 Arizona League. Line them up and roll two dice, nice. There's Austin Hendrick to 299, Speckle. Nice. Good double play for the Dodgers. How's Arizona doing? Giants are up in the bottom of the fifth. Man on first. Right. No outs. And our last autograph is Kevin Maid for the uh, Chicago Cubbies, the North Siders. Burke. with the number 24 Cubs prospect according to Baseball America. Any, any other color here before we close out? Andres Jimenez for Cleveland. That's a 299. TJ, 40 Man Future, Starlin Aguilar, and Malcolm Nunez. There you go, boys and girls. Another great case in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Oh, why don't, why don't I do an autograph recap? This is a sort of a longer break, so I like to do those auto recaps. Here we go. The Micelle Urbina was nice. Some good color in here. Jazz Chisholm image variation. Piece of Brian Anderson's lumber. Bobby Wood Jr. was the one per case. That was pretty strong. Yiddy Cap. Got some Atomics here. Christian Santana. Shailen Polanco was pretty nice. And we started off with Jagger Haynes. There you go. Now we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe Jaspi, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.